Hey guys, welcome to another review of mine. Today I'm gonna take a look at this super compact all copper CPU cooler ideal for your mini ITX builds. This is the Cryorix C7CU and yes, feel free to point out how badly I butchered the brand name Cryorix, but hey, everyone pronounces it a little differently. Now just so you know, there's been the standard aluminum C7 around for quite a while now. In fact, I've even tested that one in the past, but I don't know where I've put it. So I can't compare it with this copper version of it. But anyway, after doing some research, I discovered this cooler apparently is supposed to cost somewhere around the 50 US dollar mark. This clearly doesn't make it the go-to cooler for standard ATX builds. This is for small form factor PCs. But is it worth your money and can we do some overclocking with the C7CU? Now included besides the cooler itself are all the things you need for the installation such as backplate, hex nuts, washers, a hex nut screwdriver, thermal paste and the installation guide. In terms of looks, well it's pretty damn tiny but really heavy for the size. But I kinda do like the way this small CPU cooler looks like. And the return of copper is something different after all, especially with this white kind of color scheme going on. Cryorg in fact claims this should lead to roughly 15% more performance over the standard C7. And what truly makes this cooler so appealing for small ITX builds and the likes is the fact that, first of all, you don't need to worry about the height, since it's just 47 millimeters, and secondly, it's built in a way that would in no way interfere with any of your other components such as RAM, motherboard VRM heatsinks and so on. On top of this heavy copper heatsink sits a 92 mm PWM fan that can spin up to 2500 RPM. Therefore it sure can be audible depending on how you configure things in the bias. Oh and then there's no need to fear for vibration noises since there are some thick silicon pads between the fan and heatsink. They absorb any vibrations that may occur. As for socket compatibility, only the mainstream Intel sockets are supported which makes total sense and same goes for AMD. Now the installation quite honestly in theory it's all super simple and straightforward but I had my difficulties getting that backplate on. I wish those screws went through the holes a little easier since I had to apply quite a bit of force. But in the end it all worked out fine. And as promised by Cryorix, there's no way this C7CU would interfere with any other components as you can see. Ok to be fair this shouldn't be tested on an open air test bench. Instead I should have installed this little guy into a mini ITX build, but unfortunately I don't have any small builds. Now for the test as usual, I overclocked my i7-7700K to 4.8 GHz. How does the CPU cooler do? obviously not that good compared to all those other tower style coolers. In fact it performed very similarly to Cooler Master's UFO style cooler the G100M. The C7CU was doing a slightly better job at cooling though, but was louder at doing so. Still for this hot running 7700K the results are impressive nonetheless. The C7CU sure was somewhat capable of maintaining that overclock under normal max loads, but once AVX loads are involved temperatures go through the roof, leading to overheating of the CPU, thus thermal throttling. But then again, you typically wouldn't do crazy stuff like this with a mini ITX build anyway, since airflow would be limited in such a small form factor. Under normal loads when video editing or gaming, the fan definitely is audible, but I wouldn't consider it to be loud. But it can get loud, if you allow it to spin up to its 2500 RPM. So all in all, I beautiful compact all copper CPU cooler. Finally something different and despite its size it's still capable of handling mild overclocks. At a price of $50 compared to standard tower coolers this may seem a little pricey but for being an ITX CPU cooler that seems somewhat reasonable. But a $40 price tag sure would make this cooler a bit more appealing. Still without any doubt I can definitely recommend this Cryorx C7CU. Only for small form factor. 
PCs, that is. I'm giving it my copper award, no, I mean silver. And as always, thanks for watching.